Good morning to all. Good morning, Father. Welcome to our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Pause for the soul of Benedict Kelly on the 14th death anniversary. May he rest in peace. Let's prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries especially seeking God's mercy for those moments of failure to tame our tongues, failure to control our speech. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. For the Son of God and the Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You the word by the flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the most holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit of God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. James. Only, only a few of you, my brothers, should be teachers, bearing in mind that, there, that those of us who teach can expect a stricter judgment. After all, every one of us does something wrong over and over again. The only man who could reach perfection would be someone who's never said anything wrong. He would be able to control every part of himself. Once we put a bit into the horse mouth to make it do what we want, we have the whole animal under our control. Or think of ships, no matter how long they are, sorry, no matter how big they are, even if a gale is driving them, the man at the helm can steer them anywhere he likes by controlling the tiny rudder. So is the tongue only a tiny part of the body, but it can proudly claim that it does great things. Think how small a flame can set fire to a huge forest. The tongue is a flame like that. Among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a whole wicked world in itself, infects the whole body, catching fire from hell. It sets fire in the whole wheel of creation. While animals and birds, reptiles and fish can all tamed by man and often her, but nobody can tame the tongue. It is a past that will not keep still, full of deadly poison. We use it to bless the Lord and Father, but we also use it to curse men who are made in God's image. The blessing and the curse come out of the same mouth. My brothers, this must be wrong. 
This is the word of the Lord. Responsible Psalm. It is you, O Lord, who will take us in your care. Help, O Lord, for God man has vanished. Truth has gone from the sons of the men. Falsehood they speak one to another, with lying lips with a false heart. It is you, O Lord, who will take us near her. May the Lord destroy all lying lips, the tongue speaking the high sounding words. Those who say, our tongue is our strength, our lips are only our own, who is our matter. It is you, O Lord, who will take us in your care. The words of the Lord are words without alloy, silver from the furnace, seven times refined. It is you, O Lord, who will take us in your care and protect us from, every, from for over from this generation. It is you, O Lord, who will take us in your care. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem, he sends out his word to the word, to the earth, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone by themselves. There in their presence he was transfigured. His clothes became dazzlingly white, whiter than any earthly bleacher could make them. Elijah appeared to them with Moses and they were talking with Jesus. Then Peter spoke to Jesus, Rabbi, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. So let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say. They were so frightened. And a cloud came, covering them in a shadow. And there came a voice from the cloud. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Then suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore but only Jesus. As they came down from the mountain, warned them to tell no one what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from, from the dead. They observed the warning faithfully though among themselves they discussed what rising from, from the dead could mean. And they put this question to him. Why do the scribes say that Elijah has to come first? True, he said. Elijah is to come first and to see that everything is at, as it should be. Yet, how is it that the scriptures say about the Son of Man that is to suffer grievously and to be treated with contempt. However, I tell you that Elijah has come and they have treated him as they pleased, just as the scriptures say about him. The Gospel of the Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread of faithful of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine of faith fruit of the vine and the work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We we'll offer you the sacrifice of praise the Lord as we rejoice in commemorating the murder of your son. Grant, we pray that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to eternal salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God. And to praise, bless, and glorify your name in the veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary and for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominion is adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exhortation. May our voices, we pray, join with the ears in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the earth. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like the due force that will become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is charged of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection of our Lord, the bread of life and chance of salvation, giving thanks, that may be worthy to share, to, to be in your presence 
and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring out the, the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis our Pope, General Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us gathered here in the name and those for whom we now pray. I commend to you the soul of Benedict Kelly, whom we remember today. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy will come them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, our spouse, the blessed apostles, the martyrs, St. Elphage, and all your saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may be worthy to share it in life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Bless this day, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us in the tomb. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. By your grace, grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the best of hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And bear grace, grant us peace and unity according to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. So acknowledge one another. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I should enter under my room, but I will see you. The body and blood of Christ.
let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, and the sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Must then remain in the peace of Christ. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving, be every moment thine, O Sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O oh, praise and O oh, thanksgiving be every moment thine.